Howdy everybody, I'm Sam Feifel. I'm the editor of Workboat.com. I'm here at the International Workboat Show 2011 on the deck of the Century 32, which is a combination project between Metalcraft and Brunswick. And uh, Bob, tell us a little bit about how this came together. Well, uh, we actually signed our deal and announced it here at the Workboat Show a year ago. And then we spent a year researching the market and refining the design uh, to end up with this very unusual and uh, radical breakthrough design for the marine industry. Well, Ian, tell me a little bit about, he's talking about radical and breakthrough. What's radical and breakthrough about it? The biggest thing in this boat was visibility. And if you look around, there's windows everywhere. You can see anywhere in the boat, you can see 100, 360 degrees. You got raked out side windows. You got raked forward windows at the front with incredible visibility. You got roof windows, tinted roof windows as well. I mean, visibility was a real keen pro part of this project. Well, that, I think we did it real well. Well, that's interesting because I've heard visibility on the show floor for more than one person. And, uh, you know, I'm just a guy on the internet here. It seems like visibility would have always been important. Why does it seem to be kind of cropping up now? You know, why isn't visibility always something we're going for in both well, sides? Unfortunately, there's been a couple of accidents in the last two years uh, involving high-speed patrol craft. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when there's an accident, people go, why? Yeah, they start paying attention. Yeah, and Transport Safety Board ruled in one case it was a visibility issue, and that was a very serious accident. So uh, when we, we read that, we went, wow, it's going to be it's going to be front and center on everyone's mind and the buyer's minds, because especially most of what we build is a government agency. Uh, sure. They cannot afford incidents, right? Exactly. So uh, talk about the target audience a little bit, Ian. Is it just military and government? Is there a you know, commercial application as well? What's the target audience? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's, there's an application for Coast Guards, for militaries, for police, patrol, and I mean, internationally as well. We're going to be looking at markets all over the world with this vessel. And I think it's been well received by uh, Asia at this uh, show in particular. We've had some interest in, from the Middle East as well, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, so they're looking at it from all different applications, even search and rescue, some workload applications as well. So it's, it's great. We see a tremendous uh, ability to take this platform and use it in other, uh, other areas, other arenas. Uh, we'll talk about a little bit what those customers are asking. You know, uh, in this economic environment, price obviously is important. Yeah, sure is. But, you know, that's a given. So what gets them to pay more? What gets them to see value? What are they most interested in in a boat? Well, certainly the large work deck uh, and the spatial concerns. I mean, uh, a lot of our customers are not my size. A lot of our customers are really big, tall guys. We have a seven foot one cabin. Some of our very big customers, Navy guys, walked on board and said, wow, I don't hit my head anymore. <laughs> and these guys wear helmets, right, when they're on the, on the job, a lot of time for communication, but also in a fire application for fire. And it's a big, big thing. So uh, height was a big thing that we were able to give them by removing structure and using bends as the structure in the cabin roof design. Great. So it was a big feature. Mm -hmm. New product excites customers and it brings customers from other markets, other world competitors that we have. And, and we certainly saw it at this show. We had an awful lot of international customers very, very interested in the boat. Well, great. Well, thank you guys both for being here. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully next year when we see you at Workboat 2012, we'll be talking about a great last year. So great. thank you guys so much. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Thank you for watching.